I'm ready. Hello, everyone. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from round four of the Gold Squadron Podcast Space Jam. This is a premier level tournament that we're hosting here online. It's the first ever of its kind where we have 148 competitors all playing the same day over a weekend for a championship belt. All right. Super excited about it. My co-host today has been. Is a beautiful. Me, there Ryan, you. There Mr. you go. Farmer. <laughs> yeah, he lagged out there <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully you guys are enjoying the coverage here. I know I'm having a good time. Now here's my question for here's my question for the chat, and then I'll I'll, I'll shoot it over to Ryan here. Uh, chat, does this feel like a real like a quote unquote real event? Like, do you, are you feeling it? Are you feeling the excitement, the pump, the curiosity? Is it there? Let me know. How are you feeling today, Ryan? I'm feeling good, man. Like we are doing a lot of really awesome things today. You specifically are doing a lot of awesome things, getting this whole tournament together. I am very excited to watch, you know, some 8-bit deity versus Tron. Definitely some of the coolest names, I think, in the <laughs> tournament. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah, um, I would, I would, you know what yeah. you know what's the only thing missing right now? What's is the, only thing missing? the only thing missing is the background noise that I get from the entire tournament hall of people talking. So I think we I need to get, I, you know, what I need to do is just get, get some like generic background noise talking track just and just that. loop it in the background. Yeah. Would that make you guys feel better? Let me know. <laughs> I mean, cause you get it in, in baseball and football announcing, like you hear the mm -hmm. crowd in the background. You know? Well, these guys are going, so let's get into these squads. Uh, so I'm just going to call them 8-Bit on the side there. 8-Bit's yeah. uh, got <clears throat> Broadside with Ion Cannon Turret, Hull Upgrade, and count them, not one, not two, not three, but four Jedi Knights, all with Calibrate Laser Targeting. A really cool squad. Uh, Tron, on the other hand, is running the kind of opposite of that. Thick Boba, Thick Koshka. So Boba with Maul, Proton Bombs, Contraband, Cybernetics, Hull Upgrade, and Slave One. Actually, and I think Koshka those. I think the names are switched. 8-Bit Deity oh. is flying the double fire oh. sprays. Yeah. Okay. Well, then forget what I said with the names, but the squad still stand. <laughs> Triple Zero, Proton Bombs, Rid Cargo, and Hull. Somebody messed up. And I bet it wasn't Dion. Wasn't me. <laughs> Uh, we'll figure that out. Yeah, that's um, all right. It'll get it'll get fixed. The names will get fixed here go. in a second. Got it. Nailed it. Okay, so yeah, I think what we have here is a really interesting matchup that is going to be you know it's going to be tough for Eight Bit to deal with a little bit. Yes, the CLT is good for those medium based ships, mm -hmm. but if Boba can get at range one of one of you know getting those re rolls, it'll be hard to get that offense to stick. Uh, you've got proton bombs in there as well. Um, on both of them, that can deal some significant damage to these Jedi Knights once the shields are down. Uh, Broadside's going to have a hard time ioning them, but if you can get an ion on Boba, then that's pretty good. Dion, what do you think of these squads? You know, this is a this matchup reminds me of the Texas System Open I was at just just a few months ago. Um, where in the top four we had uh we had a a double no was it Fen it was Boba Fen versus five Jedi Knights. Now one of the things that's different about this squad compared to the other one is that they have broadside in here and and a, and a, a broadside can be really really good. Um, you know, being able to to modify his dice to have some consistent offense. So you have here. Broadside says, while you perform a turret attack, if your if your turret indicator is in is on the left or the right, you may change one blank result to a focus. And of course, hopefully you have a focus. That way, your uh, ion cannon, which Broadside has, just becomes more and more consistent throughout the matchup. So that's maybe something that the the gentleman who was playing, I'm forgetting his name, uh, in Texas, maybe he was missing that um, you know maybe that piece rather than having five Jedi Knights. Uh, but, of course, he did do really, really well. We'll see how well Tron flies it here. Now, the question is, who? if you had to choose your champion, 
who's your champion? Like my my heart immediately says, like the double fire sprays. It just seems seems really good. We know the flexibility and the offensive potential of them, uh, as well as the uh, defense. And look at look at right here, right away. Uh, Didi has has managed to isolate one of these Jedi Knights. That that Jedi is is toast. <laughs> He's toast. I was about to say, uh, for Tron to have a shot here, he's got to get these CLTs oh. on target. But, I mean, losing a Jedi Knight early like this is going to be bad news bears, especially when he can just drop a bomb behind him. Yep, I'm assuming he's going to spend the focus to not take two. One of the dice fell out of the box. There you go. And he's taking three. He is down to one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That is not a Just good opening. absolute aggressive decimation here. Now, I was, I was going to comment on the opening that I actually I like the fact that Tron had spread out his guys a little bit. But maybe he went a little bit too far out. Robert able to take advantage early and hit yeah. hit crit coming in now oh my gosh what in the world one shield off of kashka wow all right so here's the thing that we've talked about before dion it's mm -hmm. about leaving leaving your guys hanging out to dry yeah right it's one thing to have a flanker which is which can be very good and very valuable but you got to be careful not to get them trapped, which is what's happened here. Unless this is a 600,000 D chess move by Tron to move these fire sprays out of position. Um, it is not a great way to start the game. Down Focus for four here. And that's, that's going to be it for that Jedi Knight. He's gone. Oh my gosh. Just totally, absolutely eviscerated, savage, wrecked, all of it. Brutal. Or was it? Well, it was a calculate, not a focus. Sorry. So he's down to one. Sorry about that. It was a calculate, not a focus. All right. So not destroyed. Not quite destroyed. Not, de not quite. Not quite. So at least the Jedi can maybe sloop and force um, Eight Bit to decide whether he wants to keep pursuing. Mm -hmm. But I mean, come on. Oh, man. Well, before we go too far into this, these, these guys really jumped into it, which is awesome. Um, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Curl Paw Creatives. Use coupon code SPACEJAM2020 for 20% off. Get your acrylic game token needs uh, taken care of so that when we can play in person, you can do it in style. Um, yeah, so just, you know, I want to... It's all about that X-Wing ecosystem, making sure we're all taking care of each other. And... Um, yeah, so you use the coupon code, guys. 20% 20, 20 off. That's potentially a lot of moolah. By the way, if you guys want to get custom prizes made, all of our prizes were made by Curl Paw Creatives. Looking super swanky. I'm excited. Are you excited to receive some Space Jam tokens in the mail, Ryan? You going to send me some Space Jam tokens? Yeah, of course. They'll be my jam tokens forever. There you go. Oh, we got plans. I actually, don't to... have any. I don't have any jam tokens. Oh well, there you That's go. That's not true. I have a big, a huge like jam that has the Space Jam logo. That's like frosted, which is neat that I used. But I'll use yours too. <laughs> I appreciate it. Should be uh, should be fun. I have some things planned. Uh, prize wise for the upcoming ones most of the prizes will be the same some will be different uh this one was the inaugural space jam so i'm not i'm not going to do everything quite exactly the same uh you know gotta gotta keep a little little shiny for the people who did it the first time you know what i really should do i should probably um oh nope nope there it is now, looking at our poll right here, the 8-bit deity has a significant lead in the polls here, uh, 70 to 20. 
70 to 30 essentially right now. Don't forget to vote in the in the, in the polls. Very easy to do. All you got to do is type one or two in the chat. Super easy. Super easy. It's just a number. So we got a one hard turn to the right here. And a barrel roll to the outside. This is a please, please don't, please don't shoot me, sir. <laughs> it's a defensive maneuver here. Takes the focus. Close no. Close yeah. no. <laughs> All right. Broadside, keeping the side open, pointing that turret at Boba Fett, and then bringing the next Jedi in to hopefully catch himself some Boba Fett. We got a bump there on the orange Jedi and the green Jedi is probably making a move here too maybe a uh, fine tune no nope, just a focus there both these players going into this matchup were 3-0 and one of them will leave with a loss which is pretty you cool you know what a loss means Dion that means that you're one away from not making the cut that's what it means. Yep. So all players, you guys, we're going to do top 16. Um, there is basically, if, assuming that nobody drops, which some people have already, but um, you end up with five, uh, all 16 players would be X and one or better. So five and one or better. Wait, is it only four rounds tomorrow? Uh, then? Top 16? Yeah, just four. Oh, I thought it was six tomorrow. I have so much more free time. Look at all your free time. Bonus. Look at all that free time. I'll use it to nap. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I think the Jedi Knight is in a rough spot. Yeah. But we'll see. Going out the back here. Just out one crit. Butt. Could be worse. One crit, one evade. Oh. Safe. It's away. Safe. The Jedi Knight for now is okay with his ship literally on fire. <laughs> I don't know what Tron's game here is, though. What's the uh, play? I mean... What's the strat? If you get, like you mentioned earlier, if you get those CLTs on, these Jedi Knights can be really, really good because they'll have potentially, and really what you're looking for is get the CLT on without having to use the Force to reposition yourself. That's what you want. That way, you have a focus for defense uh, or offense, and then you have the one force for for defense with the paired with the three agility that you have. But uh, if you're if you're losing Jedi Knights early, or you're having to use the reposition, that's when you start getting punished. And of course, these fire sprays get to they get to play too, right? They have boosts. They can boost out of some of these bullseyes. Um, maybe some blocking would be a good idea on the side of the Jedi Knights just trying to get in the way. The risk, though, with Boba Fett, of course, is you if you're at range 1 or range 0, you're giving him bonuses. And then Koshka Frost has a rig cargo shoot, so you block it one turn, and then you end up with the cargo shoot in your face, which then, of course relays into the ability that says while you defend or perform an attack if the enemy ship is stressed you can re-roll one of your dice and that's um you know again attacking or uh or defending so that that can just be can be devastating if you're if you miss those blocks or you put yourself in a spot where you can't clear that stress or don't have a plan these two fire sprays they're just really good and that's not to mention the bombs that are uh, that are part of the whole thing too which you mentioned earlier as well once you get those shields down these jedis can go down really really fast but if those three defense dice start uh start ringing true you might have something there's the fine tuned barrel roll got yourself a stew going you know that's that's right mix it up Looks like Frost is taking a path left traveled up there and leading the way uh, for Boba Fett. Let's that go, was a buddy. Poetry joke for you nerds. <laughs> Nerd. The road less traveled. I see. I see what you did. You see what I did there? Mm -hmm. Thanks, baby. I approve of your message. <laughs> I am really curious to see how long this 
Jedi lives. You think he gets out of this round alive? Um, probably not. I mean, if Boba <laughs> Fett's at range three, he has a chance. Like that's that's the that's the chance you got. You got to take out one of these ships, like. Oh, look at that, Koshka! But, Koshka putting I putting mean, herself in a spot where she can drop that, um, the debris. But Boba Fett, you know what? Yes, one hundred percent for sure will be uh, will be surviving. Yeah, that bump, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good for that Jedi Knight. And it means that Boba needs to do a Talon or something next turn to get flipped back around. So this might be an opportunity for eight, um, for Tron's squad to kind of leap on Koshka if possible. Mm -hmm. But I mean, if Boba just drops a Proton, that thing's toast. All right, enough. I think that Jedi can do a five forward boost though, and maybe get out of that bomb range. You gotta try. And by the way, the left hard two was not a slave one maneuver, it was the dialed in maneuver. Yep, correct. All right, broadside, first shot here. It's going to be obstructed range three. Oh, so that means broadside cannot fire. Ion cannon, uh, ion cannon turret is only range one to two, if I'm not mistaken. You are not mistaken. That's exactly hey. how it works. Hey. Hey. And Koshka whiffs on the attack going to yellow. So a whole lot of nothing that turn. But I think we're yeah, about to see some fireworks. I think Tron might must feel at least a little bit better about the board positioning now. Because you can probably chase Koshka a little bit. Knowing you have a few rounds of reprieve from Boba getting uh, in your face. Agreed. Oh. Agreed. Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that Jedi Knight's got to do a 5 4. Agreed. 5 4 to get out of there. But these, I'm worried about that, that rigged cargo shoot for. Uh, I for... don't care about that rigged cargo if I'm that Jedi on the bottom left. Just oh, no, no, not that one. Away. Not that one. I'm talking about the ones oh, coming. Oh, you mean about these other guys? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But rigged cargo is in action, isn't it? Or do you drop in the system phase? I can't oh, remember. Oh, you're right. It's in action. It's in action. No system yeah, phase. It's not, anyway. it's not. It doesn't work the same way. But I'm more concerned that she drops a proton bomb, to be totally honest. Ah, uh, fact. Fact. Well, at least they all have their shields. <laughs> For now. Mm -hmm. Clench. I mean, that would be a lot to give up shields now. But right now, I mean, this is... I, what I feel that 8-Bit has done is it gives Tron a choice. Who are you going to go after? Who do you think you have a chance... Of actually doing damage to, because um, you, you gotta you gotta stay on Kashka here. I mean, like, they, that's your best choice. That was a great boost, though, by eight bit. Kashka's got a lot of options now. But and there it is. There's the bomb drop. Yep. There's that bomb drop. Kashka dropping bombs like she drops mics, baby. Interesting. Is that a five? Yep, five forward there. Yep. Good move. Target lock. Taking it on Kashka. Looks like you just like you called it. It's uh probably gonna be going over there. Interesting. Jedi Knight going over in that direction. 
He's got to get broadside in the mix, though, for sure. Yeah, I think right now this is just maybe a, kind of not. I don't want to say a stall turn, but a uh, a, a, a waiting. We'll it's like, listen, happens. I'm not going to get over aggressive and just give you my shields for free. And this yeah. this gives honestly this gives eight bit deity a little bit of information too. It's like, oh, okay, looks like he's he's not going to be this player that just over pursues. He's going to be mm -hmm. a little bit more thoughtful about his move. So now you can plan a little better for that next Proton Bomb. And then you also have the two that are on Boba. It's that psychological I, uh, insight. I like, I, like this, I like this positioning here. He might... I, I don't think he'll have a broadside shot on Koshka here. But he could... I think that looks like it's just outside of range too. Oh, uh, the chat would let want, <clears throat> wants us to know these guys play pretty often with one another too. So oh, they familiar. do. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> so you got a little bit of gaming on gaming happening. Ah, uh, game the game, baby. Well, we will see. We'll see how that shakes out. We're going to go ahead and close that poll with the 8-bit deity leading with a 71% chance, uh, or sorry, percent lead in the Choose Your Champion poll. No love for Tron. Sad. Well, he's got some love. He's got 28% love. No love for Tron. Zero. <laughs> Might as well be 100% to zero. <laughs> All so right. Boba taking his time, coming back around. Says he's done there. Does he have... Uh, looks like that's at range two. Ion cannon shot. These uh, oh, Ion... Oh, okay. Ions could be really good. One more shield off Koshka, that'd be big. The Ion could be huge too. That's three hits. There's a chance. Yeah, it is. All right, you're, you're here. getting a damage. You're getting. You're. You know what? I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, take the damage. I'll take yeah. the damage while I can. You don't need. To, yeah, you don't need to toss the ions on. Like, that's okay. Just take the damage. Every little bit counts on Koshka, and these are two thick, 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 thick ships. Like if they were, if they were cows, they could feed a whole McDonald's franchise. <laughs> oh. Boba Fett has to use the Force. Wow. That always feels bad. He's got it. It does feel bad. It's like, wait, what? All these dice. Uh, you know what? It doesn't feel again. worse than Ali almost, that taking taking damage in <laughs> round one, throwing five dice. Yeah, that does feel bad. <laughs> uh, let's see. The Jedi's going to add a uh, focus here. Oh, spend that focus. Hey, because that's in the bullseye. So we got yeah. hit, hit, crit. Boba Fett has no... Oh, oh that's oh. sticking. That's the, huge. The, oh, the blank. Oh, my gosh. Three hits at range three. Wow-wee. Well, Bo Boba Fett takes the most amount of damage when he doesn't have anybody yeah. at range one. Yeah, this when he doesn't have those rerolls. Dang. Wow. Man. That's crazy. Whew. All right. Boba Fett still has a shield down, but that that definitely gives some momentum, and I think a little bit of like extra, like uh, what's the word I'm looking for, like morale to Tron. Like, okay, all right, I might be back in this game. Man, the frost might be thawing because it's heating up in here. Hey, my goodness! <laughs> Whoa, a lot of gift subs here. Look at all that. Oh, Hexiled Gaming. Gifting 10 subs to the channel. Thank you. And those people reaping the benefits there. Man, this game just got a lot more interesting. Now, 8-Bit's got to be a little bit careful with Boba Fett. You do not want to lose half on that 110-point ship. No. No, you don't. Like... Oof. And Koshka's down two shields as well. 
So these Jedi Knights, those two Jedi can threaten Boba Fett a little bit. Broadside can threaten Kashka. This is, man, this is really interesting. Uh, 8-Bit has got to move in and consolidate some fire and start removing some of these ships. Absolutely. I'm going to take a second here. And since he since Hexiled Gaming, I got I to gotta do a little shout out here. He actually, um, i get low here. He is, uh, Robert is representing Hexiled Gaming by rocking two fire sprays with the Hexiled uh, logo on there, as well as one of their emotes that they use a lot, the Hexiled Natty Light. So shout out there to our friend Hexiled Gaming. They do awesome work on their Twitch channel. Make sure you guys head on over there. Want one X-Wing action? There's more over there. But wait, there's more, Dion. What? There's more? Yeah, there's more. What if I want to buy some acrylic tokens today? What can I do? Curl Paul Creators, baby. Exclamation point. CPC. Use that coupon code. Space Jam 2020. Get that 20% off. That's what we're talking about. 20% off those tokens. All right. So we see Tron bringing in that orange Jedi for blocking broadside continuing to keep the arc onto Koshka Frost looks like the plan here might be to spread out just a little bit and see if you can consolidate fire as these fire sprays these fire sprays really like to keep you chasing um yeah. and seeing if uh he can take advantage here maybe hoping that Boba Fett went fast so he's inside that range two bubble rather than range one here's the thing with these Jedi Dion um because if you can get these medium bases in your bullseye they're more effective at getting three hits and it doesn't matter if fett's got those rerolls. three hits is still a damage right fact so i mean you get at range one of him and i don't care if he's got two rerolls. yeah he mitigates that damage but if i can get three or four uh hit damage through getting that added focus that's pretty big i love the spot that red is in right now agreed Let's see and letting that is. orange Jedi Knight kind of slip away there it, it is huge because that, I mean, I don't think Tron necessarily cares if he ends up losing that ship. And I don't think Fett's going to be at range one of a ship again. Oh, nice. That's, that's what Tron was looking for. Yeah. All right. Boba Fett taking a shot here. Oh, interesting. Just the one? Has some choices. I mean... Uh, you don't spend that you spend that far. I mean, you can spend it, take a stress, right? Get it back? Yep. And you can you can relieve that stress pretty easily here, but it's it's definitely a risk. Yeah. I, I don't... I, I Honestly, I don't spend it. I don't want that stress. There he is. He's going to go ahead and leave it at one. Yeah, you got to keep your dial open right here. And one. one. Yeah. Thank you, Enos. And, it, and it's doubtful that Boba takes damage here, you know? But you get to try. Hit crit. But that could do it. One blank. I mean, it could. It legitimately could. You just need two blanks. Uh, two blanks. Excuse me. Oh, but he natties. Natties. Like, none of this. None of that. I don't want any of that. Get out of here. And uh, I'll blank whiffs. out. And I'm sorry. Yeah, for Maul to work, you actually have to take damage. Sorry. You can't just do it willy nilly. One hit from the yellow Jedi going into Koshka. Nothing there. Koshka, no shots on this round. Just one. And sometimes these are how the the these rounds will go with uh, these ships. Natties again. Three natties. Why not two Such sets? Agent wishes he could save them. <laughs> <laughs> but now we can get some broadside, and this is where you have a shot to do another damage on Koshka. Yes, that was pretty good, eh? Yes, I will. Uh, yeah, one of those is going through. You're getting cool. two. He's ionized. That is an uh, yeah. ion. Hit that and an, an ionized Koshka. Wow. And the angle. Oh, the, the angle is fantastic for Tron. 
It's really good. Uh, you're going to be yeah. able to take advantage with both the yellow and the orange Jedi. Get into the flank. Do some extra damage. Keep broadside no there. Doubt about it. And then at the round after that, she's got to go over that cloud. Yep. My goodness. What a turnaround. Mm-hmm. This is big. This is huge. That's why you play the game, Dion. That's right. You never stop playing, no matter what the you Choose Your Champion poll says. <laughs> Now, can Koshka drop a bomb when she's ioned? Yes. It does not affect anything in the system phase. Before I don't you think. reveal your dial for dropping bombs? No, because it's in the system phase. Really it's a system phase. So there's nothing to do with the dial anymore. Yeah, okay. So she could still drop a bomb to cover herself, right? Yeah. A little bit from orange? A little bit, yeah. A little bit. And orange is the one with one hull. So it's got to be KG. But you just one, one bank. One bank, yeah. call it a day. Yeah, I, I agree. One bank call it today. Oh, really, really random. When I took our short break, Ryan, uh, I went outside yeah. and and talked to Devin and Arwen for a little bit. And Arwen asked me, "Are you talking to Ryan?" I said, "Yes." And she, she said, "Tell him I want to go to Disneyland." I think a lot of people want to go to Disneyland yeah, right now. I know. <laughs> And I, t I, t I told her. If I could make it happen, I would. Right. I, I, told, I, told, I told her, honey, when, when, when it's open again, we'll go again. She's like, okay. Yeah. Did she get that uh, poster? Oh, dude, she loves it. Oh, I forgot to tell you the video. I'm a terrible friend. You didn't send me the video. <laughs> hey, I was jerk. only going to take as long as it took you to mail the lightsabers, okay? Uh, that was almost a year. <laughs> or over a year. can't remember. Long time. But I got them to you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, never say Farmer Brian Farmer doesn't deliver. <laughs> Just say he doesn't deliver in a timely manner. <laughs> yes. I am I am sending it literally right now. It is sent. Oh, beautiful. I love everything. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll check it out after this game. The last couple days she's told me, Poppy, can I see the poster? I want to see it. All righty. So it's a good poster. Jedi's moving in. That's an aggressive play, making sure to get that range one, even though you're going to... Ah, I make... love it. The, the, the... initiative? Say that again? What's it, uh, Frost's initiative? Is uh, it three? Frost's initiative is three, yeah. So Matches Frost... the Jedi, so he can't initiative kill Orange. Nope. If get, she had the shot. He gets a chance to shoot first, or with it. Yeah. That was a... Gutsy move by Orange there. Really curious about that. Trying to tra trade the position for an opportunity. Yeah. Now it is giving Koshka Frost a range one shot. So are you trading like good for bad? Like, you know, it's... I think he knows that Orange isn't long for this world, so... He's trying I to get that range one while he can. Take that three die shot, right? And just try to push as much damage as possible into Koshka this round. Because mm. if you can even use it just to burn a focus, right? Like, you're giving yourself a huge opportunity. You can get, you know, if I think that if a one bank from. Uh, do you have, I'm sorry, do you have bullseye on that on um, yellow? Yellow? I'm not I, don't, sure. I don't think so. Yeah, but that should be range one anyway. I think that's two and a half base lengths. Got the Talon there on Boba Fett. Contraband just got procced. Contraband, contraband, contraband. Decisions, decisions here. Looks you like know, uh, target what locks kind of, call. What kind of music Boba listens to inside that cockpit? What kind? The contraband. <laughs> A. A. So Boba Fett making sure to be aggressive here. Well, that's what he wants, right? He's got to flip back around. He's got to be able to close in a range one of some of these ships. Triple zero He's trigger there, guys. That's what it calculates from. Got it. All right, Boba Fett. Surprised he gave her the calculate and didn't just take stress. Well, because it gives her rerolls on defense and oh. offense. LOL. So Boba, Is this Boba Fett's shot? Sorry, I yep. wasn't sure. Yep, Boba Fett 
Took the target lock, ended up with two focus results. Oh, sorry. Took the target lock on one. Used the four. So, so that's a three total. Three coming in. Four dice for the Jedi. Let's see what happens. Nah, let's just spend that focus or force. The force, easy. yeah. Probably the force, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're hoping you got range three to Kashka with green there. Yeah, that's what you're hoping. I think you do. All right, let's see what we got. Broadside don't think has that range two. Broadside's a two anyway, right? I'll yep, and green does first. have a shot from range three from downtown All trying right. to strip some of those focus tokens. Ooh, two focuses. That's two. Let's see. Trying to strip tokens. And Will strip does. one. Take that calculate out of there. Can Tron get to the half, the juicy middle of nom, the nom, fire spray? Nom. Range one with a focus gets to keep it for defense. Has a yeah, target lock? Hits. Has a target lock. He does. Took it earlier. Got it. He's going to probably he spend it. He's going for yeah, it. You got it. Spend it. Push that damage. Oh, he's holding oh, he's on to it. it for defense. Hey, decisions, decision oh, time here. If man, he manages to call. do damage and keep that Jedi alive, that's a huge boon for for Tron here. No doubt. No doubt about it. Is he taking them both? Not spending it probably is the better call there. He wants to make sure he gets gets rid of it. Yeah. All right, so one in a card. One Another in a range card, six left on Koshka. Another range one shot. No bulls out here though. Still range one though. Think he's got a focus or no? Just force. Just the force. He's got a target lock out the there lock. as well. Oh, the worst. On three. I mean, you reroll. I mean, you. You reroll all three. I think. Because you have the conversion. You'll probably get a focus back. All right, he he just he got two. One, and then takes one. Yeah, one more card. Did we get I to the juicy that middle old rack situation, right? Where you reroll all of them, but I could be wrong. That's my. No, so my. I guess you don't, because you, you ought to have the conversion. Yeah, because you have so one. That's half on Koshka. That's half on Koshka Frost. Yep. Oh, and you. Do get Koshka onto what's happening here? Sorry, I lost. This is Koshka onto. Oh, range one onto the the Jedi, Jedi Knight. I think he gets him right. Yeah, hit hit crit. Yep, got him. Worth forty five to thirty nine now. Oh man, spicy. And I, I, I do, like, I get keeping the focus, right, to keep that Jedi yeah. alive. The math is slightly in your favor there, but in that particular situation, I, I think I would have sold out to do as much damage as possible to Koshka. Um, but that's a tough call. I mean, they really, it's hard to, hard to argue either way, because having a ship on the table still, uh, you know, stays alive with one hull is very valuable. All right. For anybody who's just joining us, hello, beautiful people. 343 people from around the world. You're watching the Space Jam tournament put on by Gold Squadron Podcast. And we've officially decided this will not be the last one. This will not be the last one. This will. Uh, this is the first of four of these in this series, the Space Jam series that we will do. Um. So super excited about it. We want to get as many people playing X-Wing as possible in an organized fashion. Keep people's competitive uh, drive going, their love for the game. That way when we can play on the table, we're just ready to jump right into it, guys. Uh, we're doing amazing prizes, like legitimate, real uh, things that I'm going to be shipping to people that you're going to get to hold in your hands. We want to make sure that we're trying to keep uh, as much of that normalcy of, of X-Wing and being excited about stuff that we're doing together uh, real as possible. And somebody joked earlier about a prize wall. I will tell you to just wait. 
Just you wait. Ju- ju- yeah, just you wait. All right, I got I got plans. I got ideas for that. Um, Gold Squadron podcast. <laughs> Cause I think I think it'd be pretty fun to have a prize like an event with a prize wall. What do you think, Ryan? I'm in. Yeah. I'm in. Alexander Hamilton alt arts only though. Sure. Let's do it. Uh, okay. <laughs> we can do a series. We can do totally do a series of those. I'm in. Okay. I love I love Alexander oh, Hamilton. Let's do a- <laughs> Presidents and influential founding father. All tarts. Yep. What ship would Alexander Hamilton fly? Whichever one is the most jousty. Um, okay, so I think they're now, I think uh, Tron has consolidated his target onto um, Koshka here. Mm-hmm. Saying, you know what? I'm going to do everything I can to uh, take you out. I think Koshka. Hmm. Hard to say what she'll do here. A one hard to the right and bumping wouldn't be the worst. But yep. I am... Oh, just going to fly over that. And here's where 8-bit can strike back, right? And that's like, a strain. And a strain. Ooh. Yep, that yellow Jedi is going to get a good shot. Sweet, sweet music right there. Well, all three of them are going to get a good shot if they're still alive. Actually, I think... There's a good chance that all three will get to shoot because they're all at three, same as Koshka. So I, I think there's a good chance Koshka dies this round. They all have bullseye on her. So Apit needs to really hope that he can kill a Jedi here. So much bullseye. Much bullseye. All right. So Boba Fett is coming up here, going at much the bullseye. Very red focused. one. Two re rolls. The force and a focus. Boba's ready yeah. to do some I mean, damage here. If he, can, if he really wants to one shot this thing. He's gonna clench. Oof! Just two. Just wow. Re rolls. Gonna be able to use the force and get a fourth, assuming he wants to. Because that fearless, right? No. Oh, oh. Sorry. How did... Was that a roll? You know, I think that was a roll. He just natted out. Jeez. Wow. One shield only. Only one shield. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh, my gosh. That's got a sting. Not even half. You hate to see it. Yeah. But now... Oh, man. Is it the Jedi first, then Koshka, right? Yeah. Yep. So, two. Not the worst. Here's the strained roll. Has one calculate from triple zero. Spends it. Takes a crit, I think, right? Yep. And it's a direct hit, taking two. Who was that that fired first there? That was the yellow one, I believe. Weird that he chose to fire with yellow first when yellow could have had a shot in Boba Fett if he killed him with red or green. I agree with your assessment. Always think target priority, people. Oh, that's going to be four. No doubt. Yeah. Three hits and a crit. Kush cuckle. Bye bye. Ouch time. And Ugh. that's it. Koshka that's off it the board. Koshka. And here's here's yeah. what we saw what we were where you were just talking about, Ryan. While I know yeah. that some people might be thinking like it's unlikely that the Jedi Knight does anything to Boba Fett, you give yourself a chance yeah. to do Especially something. If you, get, if you if you get lucky and you plink a shield yeah. off Boba there. That's massive. That's money. Because then you, that you could maybe uh, get a crit through at another time. Uh, always, 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 when you're going your ship priority, take a look at what shots you have available. And uh, Koshka, Koshka does get to fire. Into death rattle ends up with two. 
and, and a force. Nothing. Yeah. All right, Boba versus the world. He's done it before, though. <laughs> he's done. Oh, he's mean, done. No he's done it. it so many times. We can't keep letting him get away with this. That being said, he needs to do more than just kill one of these Jedi because that doesn't get him the win. Yep. He needs right. to kill broadside or two of these or one of these Jedi and having one. He needs to have something and kill something. That's that's the victory condition. Or uh, just kill broadside without mm -hmm. getting halved. Absolutely. We got 335 people watching from around the world. Let us know where you're watching from right now. Oh, wait. I can't do math. Even just killing broadside is not enough. No. So he has to kill something and half something. Doesn't matter what it what that is. But the, he's got to kill in half. Just get it. Without getting halved. If he gets halved, then it becomes a little more complicated. Bounty hunting is a complicated profession. <laughs> yes. Bring me the child. Oh man, you know you know also, what I'm you, Go sorry. ahead. No, you go first. I was gonna say that that poster tube that I sent you, yeah. That has been around. That was the tube that the crates sent me my mat in that had the the D wing and the crates on top stuff oh i remember the get good farmer matt so that poster tube has been around the x-wing community wow strong <laughs> chubraka 40 what's up buddy uh he's saying in the chat i might have to look into learning tts uh sam you just let me know man i will i will teach you trust me it's gotten a lot better i was hesitant for a while um and i honestly really enjoy it now it is my preferred method of playing digital x-wing all right that jedi just getting in the way Especially Jubraka, we're going to be doing a couple more of these, uh, a couple more of these space jams, so you get your opportunity to play in one. TTS X Wing does have the gsp seal of approval i'll even i'll even make you a seal and send it to you crazy vulcan <laughs> there's the bump that's a tactical bump there by uh yeah, 8 -bit totally. deity try to take away a it's shot the action. get the re-roll and just have things in arc he's able to clip yellow here without yellow being able to shoot him this is a great move here by the 8-bit deity yeah very smart big brain play All right, looks like Boba was able to get hit crit. Decisions, decisions here. I'm going to go ahead and use the force right away and reroll. Got Ooh, it. Two that's hits. That's what Boba does. Boba doing Boba things. And if this is a blank out, that's a dead ship. Not but quite. Not quite. They'll spend it for three. So lose a shield on yellow. We might see a bomb out of Boba next turn too. Easy. Natty's baby. You know, we're going to see, um, you know, Tron's got to do everything he can to get half on Boba. I think Broadside's one of his best shots to do it. Oh, two hits with the primary from Broadside. Reroll. We're fine. How are you? Yeah, yeah you just spent the force. No issue. Ah, uh, got it. 
Well, didn't he spend it on his attack? Or did he have a focus? I think he's stressed. I think he kept... Or I don't know what happened. Uh, might as well, you might want to ask, Dion. You know, I'm not sure what happened there. All right. Cool. Uh, Nick, go ahead and ask them, please. Because I can't jump out because in the stream, you, we lose you and we get them, all that stuff. Sorry to clarify. You guys want me to double check with what? With the last dice roll? Uh, Just the force usage. If he had spent... If Boba Fett had spent it on the attack and or not and whether he had the force sure. to spend on that last um yeah, broadside right attack i know he had two re-rolls most likely he ends up just getting an evade anyway sure oh, most did, likely, did, but or maybe the broadside only roll one hit i think broadside rolled two unless i'm crazy I'll just double check. Just better to Nick. Nick's on. Nick's on the. Nick's on the job. You guys, cray cray. Hey, listen. Got a lot going on here. I got three screens, twenty-seven tabs, and he spent the force uh, for defense. He said. Okay, but he used he it on he offense. To flip it. He said. But he used it on offense. Was the issue. I just asked you, this is what he told me. He said he spent it on defense to get the evades he needed to not take damage, but he forgot to flip the token. Got it. What is this? I too thought he used it on offense, but maybe he didn't. I'm pretty sure he spent it on offense too, Dion. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, let's, let's go. Hold on. All right, stream. I'll be back. I could be wrong. What we'll table? See. What table Any were they text? on? Seven. Um. Yeah. All right. Yes. We'll be back, everybody. We ru it was it was only one hit. We screwed up. It was all us. All right. All right. Looks like the bomb goes off. Did Boba hit himself with the bomb? I think I lost myself a Ryan Farmer. I'm nope, so sorry. I'm here. Oh, okay. I was letting you talk. Oh, I appreciate you. I got to get my, 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 my practice talking. So did Boba hit himself with that bomb? Yeah. Or no? No, it looked like to be just a bit outside. He was just out? Okay, yeah. so he didn't hit it. Okay. Nope. So Bubba will have all the rerolls. And that that looks good. That looks strong. Oof. Clench. Sounds like he's going into the green Jedi. And spends one. It's going to be taking hit crit there on the Jedi. Uh, first That's shield. Half. And, yeah, half points. 20 minutes left in this game, too. 
And Boba still has himself a proton bomb. What's that crit, Dion? The crit is wounded pilot. Hit, 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 crit though, coming in on Fett. So Fett's taking a hit crit no matter what. So two evades, but still hit crit, that's big. Oh no, that's the ion, my bad. Wait, is that the ion? No, 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 that's the Jedi rolling that. Am I, or am I wrong? Am I crazy? What's Sorry. happening? I was, Dion, help me. I was doing something else in the background. I thought you had it. What happened? Boba oh. Fett just took damage, it looks like, and regen the force. Oh. Okay, Fett was I Fett's ioned then. Uh, yes. Right, guys? Team? <laughs> okay, thanks. Broadside. Yeah, it was from Broadside. But now this is the Jedi. Three hits and a crit. My goodness. He has one ion token. He's not ion, but has one ion token. And two evades, but now another he'll damage. Take a hit crit. And the crit is stunned pilot after you execute an obstacle. You know what? I have almost I have I don't think I've ever seen that crit actually matter in a game. It could matter if uh, he gets ioned. Truth. Like that. Truth. And that's half points on Boba Fett, which is even bigger. So now Boba's got way more to deal with. 144 points, baby, to 39. That is a big, big road. Um, they're saying that he drew those cards from Frost, not from the damage deck. Uh, Frost has seven cards on her. That's what the chat's saying. I don't know if it's true. Uh, I believe they're correct. I can check in with them real quick. All right, we got it. We got it. I mean, it kind of doesn't matter, but I see what they're saying. All right, I'm. I can. I'm happy to jump over there. Just let me know. He's got it. Yeah, so he'll draw a new crit there. Mm -hmm. Which could be big. It could not be big. Oh, it's a direct. Okay, it is big. Oof. Oh, oof. Big oof. That, that hurts for 8-bit, but rules all rules. I yeah. suppose. Yep, yep. No, that thank you. This is why this is why we work together. <laughs> so with the amount of time left here in the round, sixteen fifty and change, is does eight bit have enough time to to make up his point deficit that he's got here. I think just the, the sheer number of ships that Tron has is really going to benefit the fact that it, it just, it's going to take more turns for 8-bit to actually pull off those points. What do you think? I Ryan? mean, maybe if you can get a good bomb on one of these, right? And, you know, if anyone can start popping ships, it's Boba Fett. You, know, you got two of these ships with no shields. So I'm not saying it's not out of the realm of possibility, but he needs probably four rounds to do it. Without losing Boba Fett. Right. We got a sloop there from the yellow Jedi. Remember, guys, if you guys are seated, make sure you guys are standing up once in a while. We've been sitting for a long time. I'm standing right now looking at my elevated monitor. All the seats are empty because everybody is on their feet. Get you know? on your feet and cheer for your champion. All right. So Broadside is going to have another range one shot. Right into Boba Fett's face. In the face. 
so aside from orge getting hung out to dry which i said at the start of the game may have been an 8000d chess game to mess up <laughs> uh eight bits <laughs> like uh early game seemed to have paid off because boba <laughs> got concerned with that ship and then didn't stay with koshka yep all right, looks like he's going to get one, maybe two re-rolls. Shooting at red here, right? Yep. Do nubs count for re-roll? Nope. So one re-roll? Oof. Hey Nick, minus one hole on the green Jedi. All right, so spends there the force hit crit. Jedi says no. Sorry, I was trying to no, do some you're, mental math here. You're good. Uh, I think Spends if Boba survives here, this would be a good spot to drop a bomb. Oh, re-roll, re-roll. Didn't get it. Take us another damage. Oh, man. Wow. Another one. So he's at three, right? Or three left. All right, so we're back to uh, planning phase here, uh, Dion. All right. You got 12 minutes left, probably two rounds. Um three if they're very speedy what do you see 8-bit doing with fat all right well uh, i mean the bomb sounds like a good idea this is your chance this is your chance yeah. to to get yellow broadside and red um looking at the health here green only has two hole ideally you would be able to go after him but obviously that's not going to be Viable green's right now. Got green's probably boogieing out. If yeah. I'm, if I'm Tron, I just get green out of there. You can't do any more good back there. <laughs> I mean, how much health does he have left? He's only got three. I don't. I don't know where he goes. Maybe a hard one. You got to try to take away a shot. Is he out of proton bombs? Surprised he didn't drop one here. Uh, no, he's he had one. I let and, and Boba stressed, right? Boba is not stressed. Ioned. If though. he wasn't stressed, I would consider the legit consider the K turn with Fett. Just just blow blow through the cloud. Use it. Yeah. That's not bad either, though. Obviously, one bank totally fine here. The only reason I said K turn is just to get out of that broadside. Yeah. Right? Just put as much distance from you as possible. He might Maybe get yourself out of another arc. He might not be in Red's arc, but it's close. There you go. Got the boost. Gets out of the uh, ion cannon yeah, there turret. You, go. you get out of red. You're just taking on yellow now. That's good. That's a strong play. Next turn, you can talon back around. Good boost. 
strong play. And two hits. You lose the reroll. Oh. Two of eights. Ten minutes left here. Uh, did he get out of yellow's arc too? I think so. I think he did. Yeah. Nice, man. He Getting damage there would have been absolutely huge. He's one yeah, away from half. He's still on 8-bit to take the lead. Tron has, Tron has no reason to chase Boba here. Fly away with all your ships. Make Boba come chase you. You have nine minutes left. There's no reason to engage with Boba Fett anymore. He's facing the wrong direction. Just get broadside out of there. Hard turn away with yellow. Do a five forward barrel roll with red. Like you don't have to chase. No reason to. But I mean, I I think eight bit deity has to, like you kind of have to drop the bomb now, right? Like you have to hope that Tron chases. Oh, for sure. Now's the only chance you're being able to get that bomb off. Which is why doing it last turn would have been so clutch. Hmm. And the question is, does Tron choose violence or the safe path? If he path? chooses violence, like, because they know each other or that's the, the way they play, that's fine. But I'm talking from, like, a big brain tournament strategy. No, yeah, it's a turn away for sure. All right, there's the proton bomb. We got it. Dropped. Broadside hits the gas cloud. Rolling for it. No yeah. strain. It's fine. No problem. And we got a sloop here from red. Keeping those guns on target. Yellow says, no thank you to the proton bomb. Denied, denied, denied. Give me that talent roll to the right, Fett. You know you want it. Or even, man, a too hard boost. Too hard to the right and boost would be cray. Nope, just a K turn. Yep. Gives him flexibility his next turn. Bomb goes off, and this is what Boba needs, right? He needs to be facing the enemy, making sure he has a chance. And with Tron bringing those Jedi facing him, there is a chance for him to, to get into range one. What's the fastest blue they have? Is it three forward, or is it only two? I think it might be just two. Three. Is it three? Is it two? I think that. Let me check. Nick, let us know real quick. You have the chart there. Oh, it's three. Three forwards blue. It is three. Spray, it's a three. All right, cool. Yeah. Yeah, you beat me to it. I did. I'm a fast yeah. Googler. Good job. <laughs> Google I look things up during our podcast all the time as fast as possible. How else am I going to read cards to people? <laughs> All right, looks like that yellow Jedi is coming in here, performing Tron's that two, pretty good. That two left the bank. Seat. He is, for sure. And he's using the fine-tuned control, assuming that Boba Fett's going to come in here fast and he'll possibly have the flank. Give me that one bank, Fett. You know you want it. Bringing in that green Jedi as well. Trying to get as many guns to bear as possible. Excellent play by both players, though. Oh, yeah. So it was a three forward. We're taking the boost as well. Trying to get behind the cloud. Not sure that Boba Fett has a shot. Go through the rock here at broadside. Might be able to get first blood. Three oh, hits. There you okay. go. There you go. Looks pretty good. All right. Has to spend the focus. Yeah. Takes a shield. A touch. <laughs> just, just, just a little off the top. 
Remember, everybody, we still have two rounds today. This is Premier Level X-Wing Tournament, guys. Stick with us. See how many rounds can you get through. You got to participate and choose your champion. First Jedi, two hits. No re-rolls for Boba Fett. Two blanks. It's down to one hull. Oh boy. Clench. All right. Going on to the next round. Now, here, here's a question for you, Ryan. Okay, that's me. Um, I think we we are four round. We're about to end the fourth round of this, you know, first first tournament of its kind, where it's all run in a single day, uh, over two days, basically run the same way as a, as a regular event. Of course, it being online. I think we have a proof of concept now. We show that it works. We've decided to do other events as well. The question is here, if I can get working with Dennis to increase the server capacity for TTT uh, and, and financially support him there to make sure that we can get that done and it, it's working nice and fast, um, what are your thoughts? What do you think about maybe making it, like opening it up to more players? Do you think, do we keep it at 148? Um, is that like a good? Is that a good it, number? I think we have to. I think you keep it 148 for now. Um, All right. Because as you, you know, increase this, you have you know more people they have to deal with in Discord, more voice channels, you know, more. Th I think you do four like this, mm -hmm. and then you re you readjust. Readjust. All right. I think you're right. I think you're right. I, I got people already. Tech. How many people are going to be in? There? I'm like, oh my goodness. All these questions. All the uh, questions. Takes a strain there on the yellow. Bigger is not always better, Bobby. <laughs> you of all people should know that. And of course, you know, more players. If we ever ran one with more players, we would get more staff and all that. Um... But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do more of these. We're gonna try to run four of them, and I think you're right, Ryan. That's the right call. Do them at this size, and, and this feels like a good size. Yeah, because the more people you add, you potentially need to add more rounds too. Oh, yeah, seven rounds, you're, actually. You're right. And safe there. I would also consider Dion in future rounds potentially doing a lottery system as well for signups. True. True, 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 true. I'd have to find a system that would let me do that. Oh, it's fine. You just do a Google form for sign up, and then you get a whole list, and then you uh, just do number generators based on the list of signing the signees. I mean, what you do. I could, I could, but it's, I'm trying. Hmm, maybe the issue is that that just makes more work for me. <laughs> uh, in, in all honesty, with the way we did it now, it's like, all right, go buy your ticket. And people just bought, and we went forward. I don't have to chase people down to buy their stuff. Right, that's true. You can also do it where you refund. You just issue refunds to X people as well. True. Um, and in a lot or lottery system, you send send out the ticketing link. So X people sign up. You send out the ticketing link. And then if it fills, great. If not, then you do another batch of, you know, you send out X more links. And it's more work, but it could be more fair depending if these keep selling out you know selling out so fast yep all right um i'm already running another tournament people <laughs> <laughs> all right spend the force it's worth noting that the we did get another half on one of these jedi Plinking away. 30 seconds but left. But it won't be enough to, to pull ahead, even if he kills one. He'd need two, three more rounds. So looks like in the bag for Tron. Given that, 
I mean, some, what we thought was a disastrous start coming out showing the power of four Jedi Knights and broadside. I think this is a list to keep an eye on. Yeah. And you can tell Tron, Tron has had some practice with this. He's made some really good decisions. And it's certainly the kind of squad that takes practice, too. You have to be good at lining up those bullseyes, get the most out of the Jedi. But they're fun to fly. Yeah. No doubt about it. And let's not forget about broadside, too, Dion. Just consistent, strong offense with a sprinkle of control. Just, just a sprinkle. Just a spritz. <laughs> Just sending out, making sure that everybody gets this. Oh. And continuing to keep those arcs on target. That's time in the round. Players should have heard the clock. This is going to be the last round. Looks like our round is overall round is ending in about five seconds. You guys will hear some beeping. Sorry about that. And this is gonna be my last couple of pieces of pepperoni too. <laughs> the last rolls, the last pepperoni. Supplies are running low in the farmer household. Uh oh. Trying to finish off that. All right, blanks out there, and that's it. That'll do it. That will do it. Well, congratulations to Tron. I'm going to go ahead and tell these guys thanks for playing. Thanks for watching, stream. Yeah, you guys are awesome. We're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to enter their score for them since we since we know what was going on. Uh, we did. Nine to 79. Hey, did the stream think that 8-Bit was going to win? Because they, they were wrong. They were wrong. They were wrong. They're 2-2. Two and two. They got to go uh -oh. perfect in the next two rounds uh -oh. to get the special prize. Come on, chat. I'm telling Come you. Come on, chat. I'm telling you. All right, guys.